after a meeting yesterday and watching the film, and it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, our kids competed and uh, competed against what I think is one of the hotter football teams or more talented teams in the country right now. And uh, you're right there. We needed a couple plays to go our way there at the end uh, that didn't. It uh, resulted in another loss, and, and it continues to be an issue for us on defense, uh, stopping the run and uh, giving up explosive plays. And that is, uh, that's the, I have, I have very zero frustration in the effort of our kids. Um, I do continue to have frustration over not being able to fix uh, a recurring problem. And that is something we just gotta keep grinding on to try to, to, try to fix to give us a chance to win uh, when you're playing you know, some of the top teams in the country that's in the Southeastern uh, Conference, Western Division. So it's, uh, our team is, uh, I think, determined. And uh, our goal is to go 1-0 this week against a, uh, a talented Georgia Southern team that uh, rises to play uh, very, very, at a high level against teams when they get opportunities. Traditionally, they have, uh, they've done extremely well when they're playing Power 5 teams. And they're, they're a scary matchup because of all the athletic uh, guys they have running that option offensively. Defensively, they uh, they can be they can give up some yards, but they've done very well at uh, at, at being uh, sound in the red zone, which is uh, something we've got to score touchdowns with the way we're playing on defense right now. We we need to get it in the end zone. So it's a, it's a it's a worthy opponent uh, come Saturday. I'm glad we're at home again. I encourage our fans to continue to keep supporting these kids be extremely loud to make uh, communications difficult uh, on the opponent. All right, raise your hand. We'll bring the microphone to you.